Hey, okay, so here's another game I thought I'd commentate, and this is kind of like a different, this is like the Fortnite defense, but it's also kind of like a little bit of the fried liver attack, and if you don't know what those are, that's fine, but I just kind of want to show how deadly this, uh, this opening really is. Um, so the game starts off, I, you know, pawn to e4, it's a very strong move. He attacks right away with his knight. Now, there's a few things I could have done from here. I could have kept pushing with my pawn and kind of make his horse, you know, go around the board. But I don't really like doing that. You know, I kind of want to have this control. I don't want to have this pawn, you know, out in the open. I mean, it would be a good idea, I guess. But, you know, I've seen this opening before. I've played it as black myself. And I do think black has a really good chance of winning if pawn comes up here. So I didn't want to do that. So I decided to protect my pawn. He blocks, and now this kind of just turns into, you know, the Fortnite defense, and it looks kind of cool, actually, all symmetrical. So, and then I respond with this. Now, I don't. This is what I did in my last video. I simply bring my knight up here safely because his knight is kind of being blocked, is, uh, is blocking his queen. So I can just come up here and move right here. And now, finally, no, in so many times I've seen people just completely not see this. He actually decides to, oh, well, first he brings his um, his bishop up here. You know, I guess, I don't know what, I guess he was just trying to copy me, or I think he was trying to hone in on my weakness as well. But then I just go on with the plan, and then he, this one time, he actually sees this and blocks it with his pawn. But here's the deadly part about this trap. There are so many defend or so many attackers on this pawn right now. He only has two. I have three. And so I decide to take. Now thinking that, oh well, you know, I can easily take this, you know, pawn, and then I'll take his knight. He takes the pawn. Then instead of like taking this right back. I decide to just take, and this is kind of what the fry lever attack is. Um, right now, he either has to lose a queen or his rook, and his only thing to really prevent this is to, you know, he can move, or he can just take with his king. So it's kind of forcing his king to take, and he can't castle anymore. Now, even though he may think that he's completely safe, he's really not, because what happens next, after he takes, now... I have a very interesting move. It is to move my queen to f3. Now he's in check, and he he has a very he has a lot of options actually. From here, his best move would have been to move to uh, e6, and if he would have done that, then he would have been able to protect this knight. But I guess he'd never seen this before. He decides to go back, which is a terrible idea. Because then I just respond with bishop here, and now he's pretty much in checkmate unless he moves his queen. But once he moves his queen, I get his queen, and now I have excellent position. I'm just going to gobble up these pieces, you know, nom nom nom. And all he can do is just kind of just sit there. So this is, he actually resigned right after this. So I just wanted to show like how deadly this setup really is. Okay.